Hello, guys and girls. Welcome to today's stream. We're trying The Wandering Village today. Um, I had the game on my wishlist for quite some time, and um, it was really hyped during the, the recent Steam Next Best, which ended, I want to say, yesterday. And um, yeah, it's about building a village on a giant dinosaur like creature. So that's the creature that's supposed to be our village. Um, yeah, let's let's see what it's all about. First, we're bringing the music back a bit. Let's see. Let's check some levels here. Yeah, that does look good. Okay, so it's time to jump right in. I think. Enter safe name. Um. Okay, stream game it is, and here we go. Intro cinematic. The toxic spores. We kept wandering, looking for shelter, but not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Don't forget to assign plots to your farms. Okay then. Welcome, hello friend, my name is Ombus Mumblemore. Um, and I'm the village elder here. Our people, the Naomans, have traveled far and endured many hardships throughout the years. But now we have come across an Onbu. An ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our counter must have been fated. It is most likely been asleep in the ground for a very long time. Maybe it woke because of toxins keep seeking further and further into the earth. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read that Onbu draws their nutrients from the ground, so I wonder if it can sustain itself out here. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it is time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I could teach you a little of what I've learned, tutor you even, a tutorial so to say. What do you think? Yes, please. I have no idea what this game is about. Open the Elder Notebook. Well, let's... Are we... Okay, now we're paused. Um... Open the Elder's Notebook with the something button in the top right corner of the screen. Is that a book? That might be a book. Yes. Okay, that's a glossary. Um, move your camera. I can do that. Enter the Onbo view. How do you do that? Click here. Ooh, that looks cool. I'll, I'll already love the graphics. The, the pastel colors of the background. That's that's pretty cool. Ooh, and we have a world map. Okay. Is all of that fog of war? Oh no, that's that's probably not fog of war. That's the 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 current territory we're in. But everything else probably is right. That's probably the way our our little dinosaur friend, or giant dinosaur friend rather, is is going to wander. And um, we'll we'll discover. What's, what's here? Some time in the future, I think. Okay, back to the village. Build tents for all your villagers to make them happier and thus more productive. If you run out of resources, use the harvest tool to chop down trees. Have at least eight tents. Okay then, how do I build tents? Housing for up to two villagers. And how many do we have? Sixteen, that's why we need eight. Okay then. So, one, two, three. Can I somehow keep building them without having to... Yes, shift click works. Okay, perfect. Um, so that's eight tenths now. And are people going to work by themselves? 
that's the harvest tool. And now can we just... Yeah, we can just harvest these trees here. Maybe let's harvest this plot of land here too. Are these trees not big enough yet? Do we need to harvest these here? Harvest only fully grown... Yes, please, harvest only fully grown objects. Who are those berries? Yes, they are. Maybe these trees... A growing tree. Harvesting it doesn't yield anything yet. Hmm. Yeah. That was too bad. We just cut a bunch of growing trees. Anyway, you could just all... I don't know, maybe harvest all of these things? Tent construction is almost done here. Can probably speed that up a bit. Ooh, and not too early because um, it's already almost that time. Okay, to ensure a steady supply of food and healing herbs, build a farm and herbalists. So what's that? That's destruction tool, research building, worker post... Resource? Resource production, maybe? A farm. Okay, so farms... do take pretty huge plots of land, if I can see that correctly. So maybe... like here would, have, would, would be a good idea? Are all of my people going to sleep now? Okay, doesn't look like it. How much stone do we have? We do have enough stone to... ...to actually build that, right? Yes, we do. But they are working through the night. So maybe they don't care about that at all? I don't know. Okay, so... Let's add plots of land. So we could just... Go with this here, right? Which requires what? Okay, that requires water. And now we have three farmers here. Okay, have at least one herbalist. Um, herbalist. Plants and harvest herbs for medical use. Plots must be placed on grass soil. Okay, that's huge as well. So I'm not sure if we should actually utilize all of that. If so, I would need to, to place that pretty far away. But I don't think we we need... Make sure to place their plots on grass soil, okay. I'm not sure if we actually need that much 
Plots von, von Herbalist. Let's place that here for now. Do we need stone for that? Yes, we do. Do we have enough stone? Yes, we do. Nice. What the hell is happening? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, looks like, um, looks like we're moving. Ooh, and you can even see it from from up here. That's that's pretty cool. Um. Okay. So let's add some plots to that. Maybe like I don't know. That's that's enough. Maybe. Um. Have at least. Planting crops requires water. Build an air well and a water tank for storage. Automatically extracts water from the air. Works better at higher humidity levels. No water is produced in deserts. Um, okay. So let's put that right between our farm and our herbalist. But that does require stone. Is that stone? Yes, it is. Okay. Please grab all of the stone. And also some of this wood. If at least one water tank. Resource refinement, that's not it. Pest control. Water tank. Should we place that right next door? I'm not sure. I I mean, probably. Okay, at least none of our people are idle now. So, could be worse. Okay, because it's night time and the temperature isn't right... How much water do we have? Oh, we do have a lot of water. And they're just filling that inventory up, right? Do we know which biome we are in? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, all of this isn't growing particularly fast, so maybe we should add a bit more. Just in case. Okay, that produces three water every, I don't know. But 
but unfortunately we don't have the wood to build that yet. Ooh, okay, so that can that has an inventory of forty five, which should last us quite quite a bit. A water tank is being built. Oh, that stores one hundred water. Okay, so I didn't necessarily have to build it there. I think. Research. Build research and select kitchen for the research in the research menu. The star icon indicates recommended research order. Okay, build one research building. Uh, where is that? Research building. Sure, let's place that right here. And while we're at it, we might as well grab all of these. We do have 52 food left. Mushroom, okay, interesting. Select research for kitchen. Makes berries, beets, and onboo blood into process onboo blood. Hold up. Into processed food. Okay. I don't want to drain my dinosaur of um, blood, please. That sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. So am I seeing it correctly? Our people are basically never sleeping. Right? Food refinement. Build a kitchen to increase your food production and provide your village with refined food. Stone slabs and wood planks are needed to construct a kitchen. Have at least one carpenter. Um, okay then. Carpenter. And we should be able to build a carpenter outside of the, the fertile areas, right? That probably makes sense. Although, we do have to carry our wood there, probably. So let's build that here. Build this carpenter there and the stone cutter, like, I don't know, here maybe? And grab all of this. And grab. All of this. Maybe this isn't isn't too bad either. Why are they idle? Dallas, Tierney, Janaya, why are you idle? Maybe we should build a second air well.
our farms are really taking a lot of water. Yeah, we should probably build a second air well. Let's build that right here. Mountains? Oh, that's a current biome. We're in the mountains. Okay, temperature is cold, humidity is normal. Oh, okay, so that's that's interesting. You picked up a group of nomads who now joined your village. Population level up, your villagers' needs have been increased. Check them. Have been increased. Check them in the top bar. So that's our resources here, and now we do have more villagers. Which means we do need more tents. How many more? We had. Did we have 16? So that's. 18, 20, 22, right? Oh, and the carpenter takes three wood to produce two wood planks. Okay then. Oh, and we're already harvesting our first food. That's nice. Grab all the beads we can get. Focus worker, what does that do? I've no idea to be honest. So our carpenter has been constructed and our stone cut has been constructed. So it looks like um, it's all going according to plan. Oh, now we're in the jungle. Okay. There was a little audio cue, I think. What does the jungle do? Temperature normal, humidity humid. That should be good for our water production, right? Yes, it is. Which means as soon as we are in humid um, biomes, we should probably produce as much water as we can. So let's disable you real quick, so people are not not bringing all the stone to you here. Well, how many air wells do we need? I'm not sure. I think we might even benefit from a from a third one here. Choose your next research. A village doctor. He's poisoned villagers with herbs. 
Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Okay, let's let's build a third air well. We don't have any wood left, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay then. Disable that guy too, real quick. Priority tool, okay. And we don't need that for now, I think. Pantry stores all kinds of food for the villagers. Sounds useful. So where do we place a pantry? Maybe like right here? Yeah, why not? So what do we have? We do have 40 berries, 6 beads, a bit of stone, a lot of herbs actually. And one mushroom. Okay, and afterwards we need a kitchen. Not enough resources available. The kitchen should be right next to the pantry, I think. Okay, so now we do have three air wells producing all our water. And hopefully putting it all in the water tank for more arid times here. Yeah, it's not great that our people have to have to wander um, all over the world to to grab some food. So a pantry is probably really useful here. Yeah. Let's increase the stone production again. All the stone slab protection that that is. And now all our stuff is moving into the pantry. That's nice. Oh, we only have limited inventory for all types of food, so berries are already full. Okay.
Now, why would these people not move? Oh, they need wood planks. Okay, so we need to produce stuff there as well. Pick one of the two recur- okay, Hornblower. Used to issue commands to Onbo which may or may not follow. Allows you to click on crossroads on the world map to decide which way to go. Sure, let's do that. Theoretically, just add a second worker to that, right? Oh, okay. We're resting now. What the hell is happening? Undo sleepiness. Undo hunger. Undo poison level. Now, what do we do about hunger? Can we do anything about hunger? Maybe we should add more people to this production. And... Pass control... Village doctor. Heals poisoned villagers using herbs. Yeah, that sounds useful as well. Material storage stores various materials, 30 of each. And villages move slightly faster on roads. So maybe building a road here wouldn't be a terrible idea. Build a worker post to specialize your unemployed workers and give them a speed boost. Have at least... okay, worker posts. Nah... oh, there's the worker post. Used to manage workers, make them specialize as transporters, harvesters or builders. Worker in this building get a small movement speed bonus. Okay then. And now we're producing beet soup. Nice. So I think we might be able to... Scavenger hut. Find new villagers. Okay. So there was an Onbu kitchen. That's Probably um, how I feed the guy. So we just need one village doctor, I think.
Yeah, looks like um, it's all going according to plan. It's a growing berry bush. Growing mushroom. Bundle of mushrooms. What's happening? Our oh, guy is still sleeping. Okay. So let's disable both of them here. Ooh, they're actually taking um taking the stone from there. Okay, that's nice. So let's see. Grab all of this. And if you're bored, also grab all of this. Ooh, we have a completely full water tank. That's nice. And as soon as um, the inventory of these three is full as well... Um, ooh, Umbo is waking up. Um, as soon as that inventory is full as well, we can just disable them, I think. For a bit, at least. Okay, so we got our worker post, have at least two carriers. Now, how do I do that? Make some specialized transporters, harvesters, or builders. Okay, focus general. Focus transport. Okay, so that's our transport worker post now. At least one scavenger hut. Ombu kitchen makes mushrooms into ombu food. Yes, please. Yeah, a little village is some um, is growing to be to be self-sustainable. So let's place send out workers to scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. Um, okay then. Now where do we place it though? Okay, we have to place that on the edge somewhere. Okay, we're going to place that Place that where? Place that here. And we need wood planks and stone slabs to do that, so turn the production back on here. And maybe also connect it um, to a dirt road. Okay, so that, um, I think, brings us to the end of today's stream. Um, let's, let's continue next time, um, building our little, little village here on, um, on the back of Anbu. Thanks for being here today, and um, have a great rest of the evening. Bye-bye.